Hello there guys, this is Kirob speaking and today I'm going to show you the first ever Let's Play Automation video. But before we get to the Let's Play part, let me tell you what automation is and let me jump here into sandbox mode for a moment. Um, right, so automation will be a car company tycoon game in which you can design and build your own cars from scratch and market them worldwide throughout the years. The game will start in 1946 and end in 2020. So, yeah, uh, what is this all about? Well, we are soon going to be releasing a demo and this will be on 8th of April. And you might wonder, well, what's in the demo if this is a car company tycoon game? Well, there's not much car company tycoon in there yet. It's basically focusing on car and more specifically on engine. Because this is the engine designer you are currently looking at. Um, right now you're able to build naturally aspirated inline four engines and for those we have built scenarios and the sandbox mode. And um, well, you will be able to play those in the demo. Okay, so let me get out of here and start the actual let's play and let me show you what lies ahead of you. Alright, so into the scenarios. Here you see we have 14 scenarios currently and those will all be in the demo actually. And um, today I want to show you the easy scenario with the Irish race buggy. Right, yeah, let's jump into it and play it. So you see the description of the scenario here. Basically it's a um, race company which, uh, or racing team, which contacts you in 1992 and wants to have a new engine build for their race car and uh, the limitations are it's allowed to have a maximum of uh, 1.5 liter capacity and it should be light also it should be revving quite a lot and um, let's see what more is there yes right uh, one funny little limitation is that it shouldn't last longer than 200 mega revs um, well, if you build an, a race engine, you don't want it to last 10 races if you're just going to race one race. So, um, let me just see here. We do not have any cost restriction, so I just went for the most expensive parts there are. And let's see, we have the responsiveness requirements, so I will lower flywheel, the flywheel mass as far as possible. Um, let's go to the next tab. Um, of course, for a high revving engine, we want to have some kind of um, low friction overhead cami thing, and a dual overhead cam would do exactly that. Let's go for a four valve one. Um, again, the head type should be head material should be aluminum because it's lighter. We have this weight requirement, and um, well, I think we can up compression a bit. It's going to be a race engine, so cam profile probably should be around the sport or race region, really. Um, especially if we're going to go up to 9,000 revs. Uh, not revs, RPM, I mean. Um, then we have variable valve timing, and that, of course, is always a pleasure to have. And it only weighs 2.8 kilos extra to have it in there. Right, we go for that just say that. Um, the for the fuel. <laughs> right, we're going to use a single carburetor, right? <laughs> this looks appropriate for a race engine. No, not really. So let's go for a multi-point fuel injection system with throttle per cylinder setup and a race intake to make sure that the engine fails after just one race with all the dust being sucked in there. Um, right, so we had to choose the fuel type, which is super premium unleaded. Let's go for that. 98 run, that means, of course, we want to run very rich and probably we want to run very aggressive ignition timings as well to be up there in the RPM range very nicely. Uh, RPM maximum or the limiter is at 9000 RPM. Aspiration, there is no aspiration, forced induction yet. Uh, but will be uh, implemented for into the demo for those who pre-order. Um, 
not directly, but after a while. So let's see here. Um, the exhaust system is very important for every race car. Um, what can we choose here? Well, let's remind us again that we didn't have any cost restraints, so of course we go for the most expensive one, which is this pretzel here. And um, the exhaust size, of course, is very important as well. So let's up this a bit. We are going to reach somewhere maybe around 170 if we do it really well, kilowatts. So we don't want to limit it for that amount of power output. Catalytic converter, come on, no, no one cares about this in the race car. And muffler. Uh, right, we have a loudness limitation of 90, which is right below blasting your eardrums. Um, so we have, let's put jun just one straight through muffler on there, that should suffice. Okay, let's have the first test run then. See what it does. Well, it's revving. That's a good sign. It doesn't explode yet. Yeah, it was silver first try. <laughs> um, right. So, but we have to get a bit higher than that, I would say. Um, so we have very nice responsiveness. We need more power to get even higher. Uh, we'll make it better than that. Um, let's take a look at the torque curve. We are currently right inside the lifespan, uh, below the lifespan maximum, so we should probably punch the engine a bit more so that it dies earlier. This you can always do by changing the cam profile such that maximum torque is reached even at higher RPM. Um, and this we do in the top end. Right now we are currently at 6 something, so let's go even higher. Let's try 77 cam profile. Uh, let's see for the run number. We are well, well below the restriction, so let's up, um, let's up compression a bit more. And let's see what more did we have. Uh, responsiveness is fine. Weight. Uh, loudness. Well, we are pretty quiet, but we don't get any score for reducing it further, so let's just stick with that. Also, I want to try to make the... to actually not limit ourselves with the muffler, so I just want to make sure that we don't do that and up it one bit of diameter more to see if this has any effect on the high-end torque curve, and thus power curve. So, let's run it again. We see we start out much lower here. This could be either due to knocking or due to cam profile. Uh, let's hope it's just cam profile. Ah, yeah, this is looking good. It's rising. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, okay, gold rank. Um, right, so we're at... Uh, 1,600 points, and we need 1,656 to reach platinum rank. Okay, what more could we do here? Mm. Right. So there should be nothing really what we can do. Um, cam profile looks fine. Here we have basically everything at maximum. Exhaust, well, that's fine. I guess it's cam profile optimization, uh, optimization which we have to go for. Um, and on to reach the max. We are still well below the fuel octane rating, so let's go for slightly higher cam and up the compression a bit more and see what comes out of it. Like this, and cam profile 79, and have a go. It starts out even lower. Come on, baby. Platinum. Go for it. Yes. Yes, we did it. <laughs> and free tries to platinum. Right. Okay. This was my little Let's Play automation video. I hope you enjoyed it. And, of course, see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.